Hi everyone, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we bring you 10 fun facts about Ohio. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Without further ado, here we go. Number 1. In 1884, John Patterson and his brother founded the National Cash Register Company in Dayton. Though they didn't invent the cash register, the company bought the patent from local inventor James Ritty. Patterson's company went on to produce many different models of cash registers throughout the years, many of which are still on display today. Now, simply known as NCR, the company has embraced the world of technology and both produces and sells self-service kiosks, point-of-sale terminals, ATMs, and many more devices and services necessary for today's retail market. In 2009, headquarters were moved to the Atlanta, Georgia area. Number 2. Seven U.S. Presidents Were Born in Ohio Ulysses S. Grant was born in Point Pleasant, where his birth home is now a museum. Rutherford B. Hayes was born in Delaware, which is also home to the Strand Theater, one of the oldest operating theaters in the country. James A. Garfield was born in Orange Township, which has been divided into five municipalities near Cleveland. Benjamin Harrison was born in North Bend in the home of his grandfather, William Henry Harrison, our ninth president, who moved there from Virginia. William McKinley was born in Niles, which was originally named Heaton's Furnace. William H. Taft was born in Cincinnati, which is also home to the nation's first professional baseball team, the Cincinnati Red Stockings. And Warren G. Harding was born in Corsica, which is now known as Blooming Grove. Number 3. In 1865, Cincinnati's Commercial Hospital was the first in the nation to institute a hospital-based ambulance service for civilians. While the U.S. was already using ambulances for sick or wounded soldiers during the Civil War, this was the first time the service was offered to the public. The ambulances that provided the service were assigned their own doctors and were equipped with basic supplies. Ambulances in general originated around 900 AD with Anglo-Saxons carrying their wounded soldiers away from danger in hammock wagons. Another pioneer in the program was New York's Bellevue Hospital, which began their service shortly thereafter. Number 4. Chewing gum was first patented in Ohio. Amos Tyler of Toledo received the first patent for chewing gum in the United States in July of 1869, though he never sold it commercially. William F. Semple, a dentist from Mount Vernon, also received a patent that same year in December. His chewing gum included chalk and other ingredients aimed at helping people keep their teeth clean. Also from Ohio was Dr. Edward E. Beeman, who added pepsin to his recipe and marketed it as a digestion aid. Although briefly discontinued, Beeman's gum has made a comeback and seems to be here to stay. Number 5. Oberlin College was founded in 1833 as a private liberal arts college and was a trailblazer in equality. They became the first predominantly white college to accept African American students in 1835 and the first to include female students on a regular basis in 1837. Founders of the college had strong Christian faith and felt slavery was a grave sin that should be repented for and ended immediately. Oberlin College's faculty and students were highly involved in the abolitionist movement and together with the town's members played a key role in the Underground Railroad. It is also home to one of the top music schools in the country. Number 6. William D. Hart Hubbard was the first African American to earn an Olympic gold medal in an individual event. He won the much coveted gold with a running long jump of 24 feet 5 inches at the 1924 Paris Summer Games. He excelled in the sport while attending Walnut Hills High School in Cincinnati where he was born. In 1925, he set a world record long jump of 25 feet 10 and 3 quarters inches that held for three years while he attended the University of Michigan, where he graduated with honors in 1927. John Taylor of Washington, D.C. was the first African-American male to earn a gold medal as part of a United States team in 1908. Number 7. 
Frank Loomis of Akron invented the first paddy wagon. The electric-powered police patrol wagon served the city of Akron beginning in 1899. His design was built by the Collins Buggy Company, and the vehicle was equipped with an alarm gong, which is equivalent to today's siren, a headlight and stretcher, in case an ambulance was needed. Two four-horsepower electric motors powered the battery-run vehicle, which could go 16 miles per hour and had a range of 30 miles. The newly minted police car was cheaper to maintain than a team of horses that previously powered police wagons. The cities of Cleveland, Chicago, and New York put this model on their streets as well. Number 8. Kelly's Island is home to the glacial grooves. These striations serve as evidence of glaciers moving over the bedrock long, long ago. Boulders, rocks, and fragments at the base of the glaciers cut the multiple, usually straight, parallel lines into the surface of the stone as they move, and finer granules of sand and sediment polish them into the smooth grooves we see today. While not the only such site in existence, this is the largest example of the prehistoric phenomenon that is easily accessible to visitors, giving us a glimpse of nature's mighty forces at work. Number 9. Drew Carey, the current host of The Price is Right, was born and raised in the old Brooklyn neighborhood of Cleveland. After struggling with college, he entered the United States Marine Corps Reserves and served as a field radio operator for six years. On the advice of a friend, he pursued a career in comedy and gained national attention in 1988 when he performed on Star Search, a talent program from the time. He went on to star in the aptly named Drew Carey Show and was involved in many other comedic projects as well. He's an avid sports fan and was a vocal opponent of the Cleveland Browns being relocated to Baltimore in 1995. Number 10. Wapakoneta is where astronaut Neil Armstrong came into this world. He was completely and thoroughly fascinated with aviation from the start and earned a student pilot's license at 16. He later studied aeronautical engineering thanks to a U.S. Navy scholarship, which included training as a pilot for the Navy. After flying 78 combat missions, he came home, and the self-professed nerdy engineer furthered his education, eventually joining what is now NASA. In 1962, he began their astronaut program, and in 1969, he would go on to become the first man to set foot on another world sealing his place in our history books. In closing, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for future topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.